Sneemaster! Hi everyone, Sneemaster here to talk about the Anvil Terrapin. The Terrapin is a small armored scout ship designed to run around enemy lines with minimal detection. The ship has decent speed and two medium shield generators, which is pretty big for a small ship. It is supposed to be heavily armored, but we don't know how much yet. The current hit points at least are over three times the health of a Cutlass Black, so it is sturdy. There are armor plates that currently activate when not in VTOL mode. When they are active, then the infrared emissions are reduced, but the ship heats up faster. The Terrapin has four VTOL engines, so cruising over planets is pretty safe. Combat speed is 157 meters per second, with a max speed of 1204 meters per second. It does not turn or accelerate very quickly because of the weight. The Terrapin has two small hydrogen fuel tanks and one small quantum drive and fuel tank. It's not very long range, but can get around the solar system pretty well without needing to refuel too often. It has a nose turret controlled by the pilot with two size 2 guns on it, which by default are distortion repeaters. There is a large size 3 scanning device with a seat in the middle of the ship for one person to handle it. That scanning device is a utility device and in the future may be replaced by some other utility device once CIG unlocks them. Maybe they'll allow a command and control system for managing fleets or a tractor beam or something else. The ship's interior is roomy. It has a single bed and bathroom, plus an armor storage and gun racks. The central scanner turns around 360 degrees horizontally and can also be used to manage engineering. It has a very long range and is a good detector. There are lots of component doors inside so you can access the ship parts without having to exit the ship. The ship cockpit is amazing. It has tons of MFDs all around the pilot seat that make it easy to access what you need. The side view is not amazing as it's blocked by the armor plates so it makes it a little harder to look left or right. The primary role of the Terrapin is a scout and with the scanner it can detect targets pretty far away. This makes it great for forward fleet pathfinder to give advance notice to ships behind it. It can also be used for search and rescue, finding escape pods or damaged ships, as well as finding enemies hidden among asteroids and debris. A crafty pilot could also get good money by searching out mineral deposits and selling it to mining operations. Salvage teams could use a Terrapin to find juicy shipwrecks as well. Since there is plenty of space inside the ship, you can also use the ship for the small transport missions. You can fit quite a few small boxes in the ship. You can also use it as a dropship, which, given the armor and shields, it should be pretty good at. But other players standing around may get jostled around a bit. You might be able to get someone in the scanning seat, one in the bed, and one in the toilet. The rest of the crew will just have to stand around. The price is $220 in time-limited sales, or 2.5 million UEC credits in-game. It's quite pricey, both in real money and in-game for what it does, but if you really need a sneaky scout ship that can survive a bit of combat, the Terrapin is what you want. One thing you don't want to do is purposefully get the ship in combat. The two size 2 guns won't do tons of damage to ships, especially since they are distortion guns. They are more designed to stun the enemy or shut them down so you can escape. Maybe if you put laser repeaters you might be able to use it in extensive combat, but I would I wouldn't count on it. It is not particularly fast either, so you won't be able to outrun other ships except for the slow ones. The Terrapin is also sort of slow to maneuver, so it won't be turning with fighters very well or dodging bullets. The extra armor and shields should help resist against small ships, but medium fighters or larger will tear the Terrapin up fairly quickly. The secret is to keep your emissions as low as possible and sneak by, or just stay far away from ships. Use the extra shields and armor to help you escape combat, not run into it. If you follow that, then you'll be okay. I really enjoy the ship after flying it around, especially the aesthetics, but it is somewhat limited in what it can do. I love the appearance of the ship, with the VTOL engines and the rounded look to it. It looks very sci-fi in my opinion. I just wish it weren't so expensive. Alright, so that's it for the Anvil Terrapin. I hope the ship review is helpful for you. Drop me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. If you're new to Star Citizen, you can use my referral code to get an extra 5,000 credits in game. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out. Okay, catch you all next time.